Hey guys, so we're going to go through the process of setting up your first Xcode project in this first tutorial and then removing the view that's in there, the view controller that's in there, and then we're going to re-add a new view controller. So we're going to get started here by opening Xcode. We're going to create a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with single view application here. Next we're just going to name our app. We're also going to name the organization and the company identifier. And you can see that it's all set up here at the com that we want. Uh, we do want the iPhone for right now. We want storyboards, automatic reference counting, and including unit tests. And we'll just click next. Okay, and I, re I already have a folder set up for Xcode where all my apps are stored. So I'm just going to store it there and click create. Okay, let me open widen this a little bit. Alright, for these types of apps that you guys are doing, we're just going to stick with the portrait mode. So we're going to get rid of landscape left and landscape right. Uh, everything else seems to be right on target. Uh, we don't need to make any other changes right now to this. So as you can see, it created a storyboard for us plus two view controllers. And we're going to want to get rid of the two view controllers for right now since we're going to be adding a new one. So you want to delete those and remove references. And then if we click on our storyboard, you can see that we have one view controller right now and we're just going to get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to come down here to the bottom right where all of our little tools are and objects and we're going to click on view controller and drag that into the storyboard and now we have one view controller set up in there we're going to change the size of this real quick we're going to go to free form and in the dimensions for the view itself make sure you come in here and click on the view itself we're going to change this to 480. You can see it gets a little bit smaller there. Let's go ahead and save that out. All right, next we're going to re add a .h and a .m file for this view controller so we can connect the view controller to the code. We're going to right click, click new file. We're going to want to take in an Objective C class. And for this name of the view controller, we're going to call it first view controller, subclass of UI view controller. We don't want to target for iPad, and we don't need the XIV interface since we're using storyboards. So then we'll hit next. And of course, you want it stored in the exact same place as uh, your other view controllers that we took out, and your app delegates, and everything like that. And create. Okay, so now you can see we have the two view controllers. So we're going to go back to our storyboard here and we're actually going to connect this view controller to these uh, two classes right here. So we're going to click on the view controller so it's highlighted in blue. We're going to come over to our little menu looking icon over here. We're going to click on the drop down. It's going to say first view controller. We're going to click on that and that should have automatically linked this view to these two classes here. And we're just going to save that out. Alright, so now we have a view controller all set up. In the next tutorial we're going to just make a simple label and a simple button and we are going to make the Hello World app. Thanks.